Today is Children's Grief Awareness Day, and the Lighthouse for Grieving Children, based out of Oakville, provides free peer support to those 18 and under dealing with a death in their family. Their executive director, Deirdre Thomas, joins us now with more on a new program that they've just launched to help out more. Good morning. Good morning, Annette. How are you this morning? Very well. So you, like many other organizations, you need to fundraise. Of course, the pandemic has put a crimp in that. So you're starting out with a new um, virtual way of fundraising and also a virtual way of supporting the children that you look after. Absolutely. So a lot has changed in our world in the last nine months. And the same is true at the Lighthouse for Grieving Children, where our in-person groups have switched to virtual programming. And actually there is often a silver lining in COVID and it means that families from further away can come to the lighthouse and receive grief support. So one of the downsides of COVID is our fundraising events. All the big runs and power of 10 cycling events have had to be canceled this year. So it is a struggle for ourselves and many charities in our community to raise the funds we need to ensure our programming remains free for those families. Mm -hmm. So you're starting a new uh, fundraising program called Virtual Kitchens or, or Kitchen Kitchen Memories, sorry. And I love this because every child probably has a great kitchen memory of, of those that they're grieving for. Absolutely, Annette. I mean, the kitchen is a real connector and COVID has brought families together again in the return to the table. You see people posting their sourdough recipes families gathered around the table, but for the children that come to Lighthouse who have lost a mother or father or brother or sister, food is that connector. It's that sensory memory that brings them back to that person who has died. The smells, the sense, the sense of smell in the kitchen, the buzz in the kitchen connects them back to that person. So this Kitchen Memories project was really an opportunity for us to work with five amazing chefs across Canada where they shared their stories of love and loss as a way of shining light on children's grief this month. Mm -hmm. And sometimes just working in the kitchen together, even though you're not talking about grief or how you're feeling, you're still talking even as you're preparing things, right? Or maybe even cleaning up. It's, it's that kind of that freedom to talk in the kitchen. Absolutely. And when children come to Lighthouse and talk about the memories they have of that person who's died, it is the small memories that they talk about, you know, what their special person's favorite ice cream was, the trips to Tim Hortons on a Saturday morning before, um, you know, hockey, uh, those times in the kitchen when they're together, but they also talk about the empty seat at the table mm -hmm. and how often the kitchen changes when someone dies in their family. There's a quietness, a stillness, but often the surviving spouse they will keep those memories alive. They will make that bolognese. They will make those special pasta dishes that were really part of that family's tradition. And they will keep that memory going for those children to keep that sense of normalcy at a time when things are quite challenging. Right, and you're asking all of us to actually post our kitchen memories online and provide a donation as well because you need about $100,000 to keep your virtual supports running. That's correct, Annette. So there's uh, easy ways for people to support us. If you go to support LH, lighthouse, lh.com, you can find out more about this Kitchen Memories project. You, you can also text light, the word light, to 45678 and support us today and share your own kitchen memories. Many of us have amazing memories of people who have died in our kitchen, or not in our kitchen, but people who have died. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is of my mom and her rolling pin uh, as she made scones and soda bread for us in our kitchen. Um, and many, many people have other wonderful kitchen memories that we'd love if you can share and tag us at Lighthouse the number four and um, grieving children and share your memories today. Okay, we'll get all the details on how you can do that up on our uh, website, chch.com, all the links there. Deidre, a pleasure to talk to you and uh, thanks very much. Good luck with your program. And just a programming note here, tonight uh, at eight o'clock on CHCH, we're gonna be airing the film, The Perks of Being a wall, wall, Wallflower, rather. It encapsulates what we've been talking about as a teenager deals with grief. That's tonight at 8 on CHCH.